Hey guys, welcome for another cleaning motivational video. My name is Jenya. Today on my to-do list, I have some organizing, some decluttering, and of course, a bunch of messes to pick up. I also decided to include some cooking today. I am going to be making a quick dinner for my family. A lot of times we end up eating different things, but I decided to take you along with me tonight anyways. I'm gonna be starting with cleaning up the kitchen. Then I got some decluttering, a little bit of organizing, and some laundry to do at the nursery. Then back to the kitchen, we're going to cook dinner and clean up the the dining room after. Was starting on the weekend, my husband's home, the weather is beautiful outside, so he was working outside and he really had to get that stuff done so I had to watch all four of the kids but also start on cleaning up the kitchen because it was a complete mess and there is no better time when the twins are calm and are about to go to sleep, hopefully. The toddlers were occupied with just running around, it was a good day so I needed to start on cleaning. So yeah, there's been some cooking going on. My husband lets me catch up on my sleep on the weekends when he's home. And then when I wake up and come down to the kitchen, he always needs some TLC. But if I did not get that rest on the weekends though, I do not know how it would go on for a whole week and still be able to do anything at all. So for a stay-at-home mom in my situation, the weekend definitely does feel like the weekend because that is when I get my fully deserved rest. Well, in the morning, I mean. <laughs> but if you're new and you did not know, I do have four kids now. I suddenly became a mother of four after I just had my twin boys. So I am married. I have a four-year-old daughter, a two-year-old son, twin newborns, and I have a cat. So we are a family of six now and we're definitely still adjusting. There is some sense of routine with the newborns, but right now there is no schedule because the twins right now decide what my schedule is going to be, not the other way around quite yet. I was not going to deep clean the kitchen but I wanted to get some fresh air because fall is around now and as soon as I opened up the windows I could not bear insects on my windows so I had to wipe down the tracks. I am using my vinegar, alcohol and water spray equal parts of each. Sometimes I add a drop of dishwashing soap, sometimes I don't. And what I have especially been using that spray for the summer is the ants actually. If you ever had problems in your house with ants coming uninvited just keep in mind that they hate the smell of vinegar. We have been attacked by the ants a couple of times, I believe. And one of the times we had it in our bathroom, that normally means there is a leak because ants come around when they want something to drink and when they're looking for water, basically. But we could not find any leaks or anything like that, but there were ants in our bathroom a few months ago. I'm gonna interrupt myself and just let you know that we got a new fridge in our kitchen. It doesn't have the front panels yet, but look, if I open the door it opens up the fridge but if I open up the same door from the bottom it opens up the beverage center and it looks completely different. We are just absolutely in love with this fridge. I don't mean to be bragging but the only reason I'm sharing is because I wanted to tell you how we got this fridge for a third of the price. Basically as you can see it did not have the front panels yet because we ordered them and they're still coming. We are going to have it dark gray I believe but what happened is we needed a new fridge. We are a family of six after all and we could not fit everything into our smaller fridge and my husband went to a store with the discount where they sell fridges that have something wrong with them, have something broken, something scratched, mostly cosmetic issues, something that fell during the delivery and now it's not a brand new fridge, nobody's going to pay full price for it. So there's a store that sells fridges like that. My husband went there, he picked out a fridge and this is how we got it for a third of the price. With our fridge, it just did not have the panels for some reason. Basically the front part of the fridge 
that's not how it's supposed to look so we ordered the panels and we also got them with a discount just because they were on sale some of them some colors were on sale basically i believe we paid something like 1300 for this fridge and in reality it would cost us way over 3000 so that is the only reason i decided to share the story with you not to brag that we got a new fridge but for those of you who cannot afford the fridge this might be the way to go because we were never going to pay three thousand for a fridge now that we have some newborns to take care of it's just not a good timing to spend a lot of money I decided not to cut out certain parts today in this video. Just so you're not confused, we are still eating throughout the day as I'm cleaning. The kids are still running around, my husband is still in and out. So as I'm cleaning the kitchen, we are still eating some lunches and snacking. There were some wings that got burnt a little bit, but they were still very delicious. I got some wings at Costco, they were garlic parmesan, but they had real bits of garlic on them all over them. And then when you cooked the wings, the garlic would burn even if you didn't overcook the wings. This time I actually did burn them just a tiny bit, but it looked so much worse because of the garlic all over them. Anyway, I decided to leave all of those things in the video because it would not make much sense if I cut them out and then we would have a whole bunch of dirty dishes again if I cleaned that area already. So us eating in the kitchen and just living our life as I'm cleaning is kind of part of the cleaning process today. So I want to say it's a real video today where I will take you through the evening routine as well. I mean just the dinner part. But anyways, I hope you enjoy. I found a few peppers in the sink, I did not understand what was going on. These are peppers that I grew outside in my greenhouse and it's painful to even think that my kids did that to me. Before peppers even got color on them, I don't even know what color they were going to be. My son Max, my two-year-old, he decided that they were ready to go and I guess they don't understand the whole point of it, but he just ripped them off the plant before they even got a chance to ripen up. So that definitely hurt my feelings, we had a conversation, I don't know how to explain to them that some things are ready to come off the tree, some things are not. It is kind of my own fault because sometimes, a lot of times, I would ask them to go and pick some tomatoes from the garden for me, so they think that picking things off the plants for mama is a good thing. There's a half a circle on my countertop on the island, that black mark in the shape of a half a circle. 
I'm not sure where it came from, I believe some kind of lid, but it does not come off no matter what I do, I guess I'm just gonna have to sand it off. I feel like it is in the wood at this point and I never, we never got a chance to properly take care and put a top coat on the island. What we'll get to it is just that it's hard to find the time where you can just not use the kitchen island for a whole day. I believe we have to skip using it for the whole day and night, something like that. The kitchen is the heart of the home, right? It is the busiest space of the house. To not use it for 24 hours is sounds pretty impossible. After that burnt garlic on this baking tray, I had to use the Dawn Power Wash twice on it to just leave it be. So after the second time that I sprayed it and I left it for a minute and then I scrubbed it off, it was clean. I don't think I ever finished the story about the vinegar and the ants. I was trying to say that when we had ants attack our bathroom, we called our pest control. They were going to show up a few days later. There was some delay, I can't remember why. I just remember that I sprayed everything with white vinegar. I just cleaned the toilet and everything around with white vinegar, knowing that ants really dislike the smell of it. It's not that it kills them, they just don't like it. So basically they disappeared, completely just disappeared, I noticed. So ever since then, when I would clean the door and the windows, I would always use my all-purpose cleaner that has a lot of vinegar in it, just to try and keep the ants away from coming into the house.
as we are done with the kitchen we're going to move upstairs that's actually just an inserted clip from a different day I just need to start with some laundry and then I decided to declutter all of the clothes that the twins grew out of not only did they grow out of newborn clothes already but I've already started to pull out the three to six months clothes but they're not even quite two months old it's just a little sad that you get this very special time only once in their lives and it goes by so fast but of course there are other beautiful great moments and times to come with them and that's what I'm looking forward to but you know it still is just a little bit unfair it seems like because it's just a little bit way too fast you know Waking up to my heartbeat, accompanied by the rain. The soreness in my eyes is not very surprising. This room is still uncharted, but as soon as I get started, I'll send you an SOS. I'll wave like it's nobody's business. Give me some time to breathe. Some time to speak Cause I know the truth inside And I promise you This time no more revival No more strange Stupid games Just from my I tried to keep the laundry small in their room because I do it obviously every day. If I miss just one day of newborn laundry, I'm definitely not going to last through the night. So that's not a question of I don't feel like it or I don't have time. This one I have to actually do every day, but it's not a big one. That's the good news. I'm going through the dresser real quick as I already have been pulling out clothes that they grew out of and throwing it into the closet. I'm just roughly quickly going through it one more time and I'm just getting rid of even the items that still fit them but I am, I'm just not going to use them because I know what items we prefer using and as they have been growing out of their clothes I've noticed that we used the same pieces over and over again and more than half of all these items were never even used once. So I do actually have too much clothes for them I feel like. If you don't know we got it all from my husband's friend and I organized it all, did not declutter much because it came from a woman with one baby and I have two. So I was afraid that I wasn't going to have enough. That is not the case at all. I feel like I have still too much clothes. Too many socks, I'm just going to leave a few pairs and donate the rest. I decided to label a few things. I really do love this label maker, it is so uncomplicated and very fast. It definitely makes me label things much more than I used to before. Alright, this is a bunch of clothes I need to go through and declutter pretty much all of it. I just wanted to double check that I'm not throwing the wrong pieces away.
All right, I'm wrapping this one up. I'm going to move back to the kitchen, back to the same day where we started the video. And I'm going to quickly cook some dinner for everybody, but everybody actually ended up having different things that evening. I'm going to cook everybody's favorite cream of potato soup. But that day I was late to start on cooking. So I decided to come up with a couple of faster versions for dinner while the potato soup was cooking. Although the soup does not take more than half an hour to make in itself, but when you start late, everything just seems to take much longer so while I was starting the soup I also decided to make some chicken vegetable pot stickers for my husband I'm going to fix some sauce for them as well in a second and although the recipe does not suggest but I like just putting a little bit of butter on those just my personal preference For the potato soup, I'll leave the link in the description. And I'm doing my own substitutions here. The thyme was supposed to be fresh. Of course, I didn't have any. I used dried thyme and oh my gosh, this soup, it is so delicious. It is so unbelievably good. I don't even have to put any bacon in it. I just recently started cooking this one, but it goes really fast. Tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no I'm not a yo-yo on a string That you flip and twist and swing I'm not gonna lie Pot sticker sauce needs to have two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using light soy sauce, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and one tablespoon of just water. We had a little bit of avocado left and I sprinkled a little bit of salt and lemon juice on that avocado. And my kids ate it all, unfortunately I did not have enough for my salad. The kids are having some leftover pasta, some pot stickers and avocado. My husband's having some pot stickers. We both had some tomato spinach salad with dinner. And I also waited for my potato soup to be ready because I wanted to have some that evening. The only dairy I have in the fridge was half and half and oat milk, so I used half and half for this recipe. I believe this step is optional, but I love using my immersion blender ever since I got it just a couple of weeks ago. So I just blend any kind of veggies I put into soups for my kids, the ones that I know they will not eat if they see them. So that has been working like a charm. And here for this potato soup, I added some green peas, that's my own little touch, but I'm only using Kirkland from Costco green peas because I know it is really, really good. But the other day I tried another green peas that was frozen in my fridge, I think it was by great value and i'm sorry great value but that green piece was really not good it did not cook through so i ended up overcooking it it still did not taste good and it just completely ruined my recipe i was really upset so it does matter which frozen piece you use don't underestimate the power of that green piece anyways i'm tidying up the dining room i already had cleared the plates but there was still some mess and i decided to record this part
Closing down the kitchen, it was already cleaned up. I didn't want to make you watch me clean the kitchen again, we already did it a few hours ago. But here I was getting ready to bathe my twins so that I was cleaning the sink to bathe them in that sink and just making sure that everything in the kitchen, all the major things were out of the way and the dishwasher was going to start. Just do the basics to close down the kitchen and make my life easier in the morning. We finally dedicated enough time to hang some organizer for my cleaning supplies in the garage. I wanted to brag a little bit about it because I'm just so happy to have it finally in the garage and not in the kitchen or in the dining room. And by we, I mean my husband. Thank you, husband. But yeah, one last thing I'm going to have before I wake up the twins and give them a bath is to have my poppy seed, lemon poppy seed muffin. I have to have it just to kind of close out my day with my tea. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit more real life than other videos, I guess. But yeah, I wish you a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye now. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning